Hey, yo, man, check it out. It's sick over here, on the top of the building. Ah! <laughs> you need to get a lot more footage to Fort Clinton, bro. This is where you came from, you know what I mean? Like, Planning on it, man. Blaze and I. Blaze and I are going to work on a documentary over the next few months, next year, whatever. Yeah. Alright, this is the jail that sent me to prison. And now look at me, I'm on top of the bitch. Iowa County Detention Facility. We have a correct call from. I'm not behind you, I have a car to That way he won't say nothing to you. We are just exercising our First Amendment right, filming in public. It is our First Amendment right to film. Right. At a building that our taxes pay the bill. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, this is out of a county courthouse. Make sure you're lo Steve. talking loud, guys. Lots of felonies, indictments come out of the courthouse. Lots of Speaking of which. I do not miss this place. Hmm? I do not miss this place. Me neither. Anyway, I opened up the wrong motherfucking program because I'm slow. This ain't much money, but get yourself some cigarettes or something, nigga. Mm -hmm. Take it, G. Come on, man. Take it. Come on, nigga. You, For real, dog. You, on the G's, dog. Take it. Man. Hey, look what I got today. Like fuck around and buy a cheeseburger. Well, I buy what you can, man. You know what I got? Really? I know, I seen him, I seen the pictures. Remember, Ohio's number one rapper. I ain't even listened to him yet. Oh, I know this is dope, though. What? They already put my shit on wax? So we're going to do a QA and a or, or um, you just no. want me to ramble? Yeah, you're going to tell, you're gonna tell a story. All right. You're gonna Every house. You know, you go in any house in Port Clinton on the west side, you know where the bathroom is and both bedrooms. And if they got three, it's because they live in the, in the meadows in one of the big apartments. <laughs> right? Or the end. Or they converted their kitchen into a bedroom like some people I know. I don't want to point no elbows. Hey man, you leave my house alone. Ah, uh, elbows. Get it, LB? Elbows? Ah. Uh, like you want to know? Right? I wasn't your rights are observed and respected, you got to love it. Yeah. They didn't have to kick down my door to serve an indictment. She peacefully brought me my indictment. That's a, that's a good thing. And like she said, she's a public servant. Right. So don't worry about getting me on camera. I'm a public servant. Exactly. You're exactly right. <clears throat> See, that's the difference between a good cop and a bad cop, bro. You know what I'm saying? Anyway, this is where they, this is where they take you in. Uh, yeah. Receiving, central receiving at the Ottawa County Sheriff's Office. You know. Going through this garage door. And these beautiful luxury sedans. And Started from the bottom, now we here. Look, you got the inmates up there. Second the second row of windows up right there. The day room, that's that's the B range. B range right there. I was on B range for like a day and then they moved. <coughs> Look, Bayshore counseling right across from the jail. They want you to get help, but why they keep you locked up only. There's a nice look we hit there. There's a tower. Put to get that shit off the tower, bitch. You want your honey bun? Get it off the tower. <laughs> look at hood duplexes. All this shit looks exactly the same. Every one of them. You look, boom, boom, duplex. Look, fourplex. Boom, 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 fourplex. Fourplex. Boom, boom, boom. That's all you see, duplex, fourplex. All of them the same. All for blocks. What, 15, 20 blocks, probably? Something like that. The whole, the whole Erie Garden, the whole west side of Port Clinton. All right, so my name's Monty. Uh, 
moved to Ohio in 96, born and raised in South Carolina. Uh, got to Ohio and, and I got on some juggalo shit. Family, all about family. I love the music, I love the movement. And there's a lot of people up here around Port Clinton, Ohio that was on that movement. Uh, LB was one of them back in the way back. And you know, he was just bopping around a little teenager when I came up up here. Trying to freestyle with everybody. But his main concern was his flow. He always worked on his flow. He loved riding beats. And uh, he always told everybody, one day I'm going to do this. Is what I'm going to do. This is what I'm going to do. This is my thing. This music thing. And you know, a lot of people ridiculed him. A lot of people looked down on him. But like any good musician, any talented artist, you got to take good criticism and bad criticism. And he did. And he used it like a fuel. And like, I'm be honest with you, I slept on it. For real. I mean, I've been freestyling for a while, so I slept on it myself. But the dude's work ethic, that's what makes him different than everybody else. It separates him. And he always talked about starting his own little music label. Get, you know, he's got friends that do this. The friends that have the same work ethic, like Rife. Rife's my boy. We've known each other a little while now. Family, that's my dude. And, and you know, he, he brings Rife in under his wing. He got a couple of other artists. It came in and did some stuff with him. I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna go into detail on those artists, cause some fell, some rose, you know, whatever, did their own little thing. But I never stopped LB from doing what he does, and the sicko entertainment. That's been, that's been his, his baby. And he's watching it finally start to toddle. His little baby's no longer crawling anymore. It's starting to toddle, starting to walk. And everybody's starting to respect him now and see his work ethic is what it is. You know, that's gonna get you somewhere in life. That's gonna. It's going to dictate whether you make it or break it as your work ethic. And that's one thing, you know, anybody can talk shit about LB's flow, LB's beats, LB's people. But nobody does it like him. Nobody works that hard. This dude, every day, you see him working. You see him in the streets. If he's talking to people in the streets, he's still working. That's what he does. Everything he does, he's work-minded. He, he, he's finding a way to apply this to, to his baby, sicko. So he got his boy Rife under his wing, and Rife comes in, and now we got the dynamic duo. This is what he does. This is what he's going to continue to do, and you might not agree with it. You might not like it. Hell, you might not even put it in and bump it, but you got to respect it regardless. In the end, this is what he does. This is his life. This is Steven's life. Look, these two are like a fat girl and a cupcake. They're going to get along. They finna make shit happen. It's going to be sweet, too. You understand what I'm saying? Crossover before we get ran over. You know we're in the hood. Port Compton. Port Compton in the house. Rich's drive through right there. You get your your Swisher Sweets and your Pops Blue Ribbon. And your Pops Blue Ribbon. Your Bush Light. <laughs> you got a guffer over here. He told me to fuck off. You hear him? best interviews I've gotten for real top top five <laughs> uh, you you know and you can discredit me you can look at me like well who the hell is this dude what does he know well, I know what I like and I like it I like everything about what they're doing I respect the number one first and foremost I'll say it a hundred times I'll continue to say it the work ethic the work ethic if you don't do the work it's not gonna work I like how you're just acting yourself, though. That's pretty cool. Yeah. 
See you later, bud. So I guess we're gonna talk about me. I'm from South Carolina, my name's Monty, I'm 40 years old. Uh, I go by the rap name, G-Money. Uh, I've been trying to do this for a long time. I write a lot of lyrics, but uh, I just really feel rap in my soul. It's like poetry, it's like poetry with a beat. I've always been down with it. And it's a good way, come on, let's go ahead, cross. It's a good way to tell your life story, you know what I mean? You tell it through poetry. It's always been done that way from the ancient times. Poems and ballads, you know what I mean? People's always done it. So, my life's been hard, obviously. Just like LB and Rife, we came up abused. We came up neglected. We came up poor. We came up in places like this. Look at this. Look at this place. This is Port Clinton, the hood. Oh, but they won't show you this on a the map. They're going to show you the lake and Cedar Point and the lighthouse and all that pretty shit. But life ain't always pretty. This is the ghetto, this ain't pretty. It's not hard over here, you know what I mean? But this is where we came up. Um, you know, this is the shit that made us who we are. When we rap about shit, we ain't rapping about, you know, shit we didn't live or shit we didn't see. <laughs> I mean, we may exaggerate it, you know, but it's we do that so that we can connect with everybody that's lived this kind of life because some of them have lived it harder and some of them have lived it realer. But regardless, we all come from the same spot, from the bottom. And we all just want to come up, right? That's, that's all we all want to do. So, you know, then I find LB. You know, he's been doing his little thing around here for a long time. He hooked up with my boy Rife. That's my family. That's my people. And now, you know, they chopping it up doing music. They got Sicko on the map. And he says, listen, bro, come tell your story with me. Because this is the story of Sicko, too. My story and his story, Rife's story, and your story, and his story, and her story, it's all the same story. It just depends on how you tell it. That's why you feel music differently. Everybody feels it differently because you can relate to somebody somewhere through music. I care who you are. So this is what we're gonna do. He's gonna follow me around like an idiot for a couple, couple, couple long sessions, um, like today. Follow me to the courthouse just to get some footage of the courthouse. And I caught two felony indictments. That's the story of my life, right? <laughs> you're trying to do something good, you're trying to come up and make something out of yourself and stay out of the way, and boom. But that's what life does to us. It knocks us down. And we gotta keep getting back up. That's what it, you know, that's what life is. Getting knocked down. How many times you get back up, that's what matters. You gotta keep getting up. That's what sicko that's what this whole movement is about like we get knocked down we get back up we want to be better we're gonna make ourselves better number one the work ethic number two the love the family love the man shows love to everybody anybody that's working as hard as him he promotes their music he he's down to do whatever he can to help an upcoming artist whether it's wisdom that he gives them as far as what he's dealt with in the game coming up. Whether it's just to give them an ear to listen to something that they've wrote and give them honest criticism. He continues to do that. That's family love. You know what I mean? Music is his love. Music is his life. He's going to turn it into something. And you know, everybody that doubted him, keep doubting. Because haters make us greater. That's what a man's going to do. He's just going to continue to get better. He's like, what that motherfucker got green, blue hair for? What that uh, motherfucker got blue hair for? Yeah, it's unheard of. You know what's going on there? His mama got that color hair. He ain't tripping. What's up with that? I ain't shit. You ain't shit. We ain't shit. We ain't shit, man. We ain't talking about shit. We ain't been talking about shit. We ain't finna talk about shit. We ain't shit. You know what I'm saying? We ain't shit. Ain't shit happening. Ain't shit been happening. Ain't shit gonna happen. We're trying though. Yeah. We're trying to make some shit happen though. You know. Everybody wants something better. Look, a nice house with a fence. We want that. We don't want. One of the nicest houses in the hood. Right. Yeah. Owned by that man. Hey. Right. You about to be on a documentary. So what's up, everybody? Sure. Look, I can't even aim this thing. You see? 
the epitome of hood, right? A black and mild, a breast tee, and a bandana. That's hood, right? <laughs> I'm country as cornbread, brother. And, uh, you know, he's dropping on all, each and every platform is bumping this shit right now. You can go check it out. YouTube, where else we at? SoundCloud, Spotify, Spotify Pandora. Pandora, you check it out. You know what I mean? iTunes, prison LB. Kiosk. Right, prison kiosk coming to a prison near you. I just fit in everywhere. That's the thing about being strange. You heard the song by the doors, right? People are strange when you're a stranger. Faces look ugly when you're alone. When you're strange, but if you ain't alone, you ain't strange, because everybody's strange, right? It's like that strange music shit. Everybody can feel it, because Tech Nine's on a different level. He connects with motherfuckers. Thunderdome used to be the Thunderdome back in the day. Oh, I know it. <laughs> back today, man, when I was a kid, man, you come here any time in the summertime, it'd be like 20, 30 cars, everybody kicking, everybody partying, music, Some blasting, music blasting, everybody getting barbecuing. drunk, barbecuing. We still keep it live a little bit, but it's not like we used Everywhere. to. Now all the kids are ours. Well, it is. Every day it's the same old thing. I try to make it out the neighborhood, but nothing ever changed. Go to the joint, you can bump me. Bump him in the joint, get your J pay right. Holla at your boy. <laughs> uh. That's so fucked up, man. <laughs> same shit, man. Different. So, day. my deal, money. Got indicted with a motherfucking. Paper with two felonies on it today. Mm -hmm. You're looking at three years, mm -hmm. right? Two F4s. So, what's your future? My future is bright, bro. I can't let none of this hold me down. Um, to allow something like that to let me, dictate. Let, hold on, hold on. Let me re-elaborate. Okay. Let me let me make it a little bit more dramatic for him. Mm -hmm. Let me tell him the truth, my brother. Tell him the truth. Thirty-nine years old, forty years old. Forty. Forty years old. Ain't got no house. Nope. Ain't got no car. Nope. No bitch. Ain't got shit. Nope. Just got indicted with two F4s looking at prison time. Mm -hmm. What's it going to be like five years from now? Oh, it's going to be, uh, I'm going to be on top of the game. I'm going to be on top of my game. But yeah, so like I said, love it or hate it, you know what I mean? You you got to respect it. LB sickening, Rife, Sicko Entertainment, they here to stay. You ain't going to change it. You never will. Family, whoop, whoop, get it in. Appreciate you. Yeah. So go ENT. ENT. Tell them know. what to look forward to. You got to look forward to albums, documentaries. You got to look forward to, hey, me and my dude going to drop some comic books maybe. You feel me? Uh, we got some skits to do. We got some shows, some broadcasts, some documentaries. Look, we trying to drop knowledge on, on everybody from this city to let them know that this ain't, just because this is where you came from ain't where you got to stay. You feel me? You ain't got to stay here. You ain't got to let them hold you down because they will. Try to hold you down in this city. You finna see. You watch. Watch our documentary. You're gonna see how they try to hold me down with these court cases. You're gonna see a, an intelligent young man represent himself in court and beat his charges. Watch. Watch what happens. Stay tuned. Because it's only gonna get live.